वेल सर्जन डॉक्टर मिल गया नीज देर एंड टूडे आई एम हेयर टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट अबाउट द स्किल स्टेशन ऑफ द जी प्लास्टी एंड हेयर दिस इज द फेस ऑफ द पर्सन दिस इज नेक ऑफ द पर्सन एंड दिस इज द चेस्ट ऑफ द पर्सन एंड इन स्नेरियो यू आर गिवन दिस इज द लिनियर स्कार बेसिकली एंड दैट्स द कंट्रैक्चर एंड वी आर हेयर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म द जी प्लास्टी फॉर दिस कंट्रैक्चर टू लेंथन दिस and in this case we have opted for the z plasty so why z plasty basically there are uh, two to three principles are there first principle is that it should be the linear scar and number second there should be the extra skin available in the surrounding so these two principles they are totally applicable at this part and we will do the z plasty in this case one thing more the size of the two limbs all the limbs definitely there will be the three limbs all the limbs it will be same and the angle between the limbs it should also be same so we will make suppose this is the 3 cm linear scar what will we do we will do we will make the z plus t one flap here one limb here other limb here and all the three limbs will be of equal length so if it is 3 cm it is also 3 cm and again this should also be 3 cm we call this limb as a we call this limb as b and you might uh, ask that what's the angle between the limbs so it varies between 30 degree to 90 degree but the ideal angle it's 60 degree this is the ideal angle it's the most appropriate angle uh, you might be thinking that what will happen if we reduce the angle below 30 degree it will cause the necrosis of the flap but what will happen if we increase the angle to more than 90 degree then we will be having trouble in the transposition of the flap and you might be asked how much length you can achieve by 60% percent angle between the limbs between the limbs that's the 60 degree again that's the 60 degree you can achieve 75% if your angle is 30% then you can achieve the 25% length and if your angle is 90% you can achieve the 100% length and if your angle is 45 degree then you can achieve the 50% length and your contracture problem it will be resolved but one thing at this point i must tell you that if you don't have the extra skin available and there is uh, there is no linear scar there is a severe contracture then you don't have the option of z plasty you will be having the other options like uh, you have to excise the scar and you have to put the flap or a graft there so this was all about the uh, z plasty after the transposition it will move like this you are this limb it will become like this and the other limbs they will become like this to some how it will move like this so it will be tilted like this and i have uploaded the video z plus t on the finger and you will uh, demonstrate you can learn each and every concept in a very clear clear and a clarified way hope you have understood about the z plus t so thank you so much for watching the video